they are now asking for visa applicants to provide a letter of invitation from someone residing in Ghana yeah inviting you to come over to the country like if you have no letter of invitation there is a possibility that your application will not be approved I'm literally considering like going to Ghana super early and just jam my own jamming you get and then when like everybody else lands I'll be in my house I'll be in my house because I'm not now come to do sardine in twists sardine and bloom bar like bloom bar is hot you get Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can tell by the title of this video, I will be doing a Q&A slash get ready with me type video. It is sort of like a follow up from my guide to garden enjoyment. If you haven't seen it, go watch that video. Um, and it's just me answering all your burning questions that I may not have addressed in that video in regards to Ghana in December. It's literally, approaching the end of october november december literally we're there we're basically there and i know a lot of you have things that you still want to find out about ghana so yeah that's what i'll be doing in this video it is in collaboration with a company called uni's hair they provided me with this amazing wig guys look at this please if this is not giving you i love vibes like then i don't know like literally i look like an like a <laughs> Like I don't even know what way to use to describe how I look right now. Like I just look like a chocolate, like a beige and Barbie. Let's put it that way. Um, but yeah, so as I answer your questions in regards to Ghana in December, I'm going to be installing this wig and showing you just how I get it looking this amazing, how I define my curls and get them popping. So yeah, I'm not gonna ramble on any further. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of this video. Okay, so I'm just gonna get straight into the video. I've got all the questions here. Some of them are from Snapchat and the rest of them are from Instagram. I'm gonna go through the Snapchat ones first and then switch over to my Instagram questions and while we're doing that obviously I'm going to be doing my hair and just you know laying my frontal down as you can see I'm bold so I'm just gonna show you guys the process of sticking down this wig okay so the first thing I'm gonna be doing is just slicking my edges back and I'm using my got to be ultra glued styling gel and as I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and answer the first question. And the first question is, how do I budget for December? I can't be eating into my pounds this year again. Hmm, that's a good question, you know. That's actually a good question that I actually failed to address in my Ghana guide, is like money and spending and things like that. I don't think I can advise anyone specifically on like how much to budget just because everyone's different and everyone spends their money differently, obviously. The main thing to consider is just your outings. Maybe get like a, I, I've seen already like some calendars going around, like floating around on social media of like December calendars and like the things that are going on from like, the, say the 20th of December till January, like the second or whatever, like the main events. So start looking at those and you know, ticking off the ones that you know you wanna go to. Look at the prices, like if you're wanting to like buy tables and stuff like that look at the prices of tables like take all of that into consideration from now and sort of budget that and then obviously on top of that um we have like clubs and stuff like that it depends on how often you go clubbing but it's likely that this december the bounces are gonna be full a little bit you know greedy not gonna lie to you um so you need to take all that into consideration and you need to be paying the bouncers everywhere you go bloom bar twist um what else you know drinks obviously basic things like food um obviously i can't give anyone a specific budget like bring this amount to ghana but every because everyone's different but um, the main things to take into consideration, I would say, would be like events and outing. The next question is even in relation to the first one, actually. It says the different costs to get into day events and nightclubs, also the visa process and what vaccinations we have to get before going to Ghana. I love watching your Ghana videos. Thank you so much for your support and your questions. So I'm gonna address the first one first. But before I do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and just complete this application process because I'm gonna be sitting here forever because I'm so bad at multitasking. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put on the hair gel around the perimeter of my, my hair now that my edges are all slicked back. And this is just gonna prepare my hairline for like the wig. 
obviously allow it to stick down nice okay so the different costs to get into day events and nightclubs so day events like I said before I'm just going to insert if I haven't already put up that calendar thing and you guys can do your own research and go and look up like the different prices to like different events and stuff like that because obviously it will vary depending on like the event in terms of clubs boy I've heard some crazy stories if you're a boy really be prepared because they can really look at you and just look at how you're dressed for example and make their mind up and be like I want you to pay this and that amount of money like that that's just how it goes like as in, that's just how the cookie crumbles like when it comes to nightlife in Ghana it's just so unpredictable literally I couldn't even tell you like a, a specific fixed price when it comes to like going out clubbing and stuff like that because it really does vary like it depends on how many people are going out that night but if you don't know people basically is what I'm trying to say and you arrive at twist at five four five in the morning there's a massive crowd outside chances are you're going to be either rejected you'll be bounced or you'll be paying some ridiculous amount to get in like um so the next question is the visa process what's the visa process okay so for the visa application process in the uk um i know it's the ghana high commission um website that you used to apply or you can go straight to the ghana high commission if you want to and just make your application there and then but I've heard that the process can be very tedious, like in person. So that's why a lot of people like opt for the online version, because it can just be long. Like you spend hours and hours and hours like at the Ghana High Commission and it's just long basically. Like, I've never done it before. I hope to never have to go down that route. Um, but yeah, it's always easier to give yourself um, enough time do everything online apply well in advance now they're even asking for invitations this is something that i really wanna you i need to urinate i'll be like yeah so if you are a non-ghanaian citizen and you need to apply for a um a visa yeah you, you need to make a visa application they are now asking for visa applicants to provide a letter of invitation from someone residing in Ghana, yeah, inviting you to come over to the country. Like, if you have no letter of invitation, there is a possibility that your application will not be approved. I'm just gonna pop this wig on quickly. Ooh, check out. So yeah, as I was saying, the whole letter of invitation thing, I think that is just supposed to make the whole application process just a tad more like rigorous if that makes sense um, and yeah they're not just dashing out applications I mean um, visas left right and centre and like, there's an actual like that process like steps that have to be taken before they just allow people into the country willy-nilly I think it's a good thing that they've actually added that to the visa application process like when I found out last year like when I was making my visa application I was like what the hell like this is long do you know what i mean but now i'm like maybe maybe this is a good thing do you know what i mean like let, let, let's start re rejecting some applications how about we do that like um so yeah that more or less summarizes the application process it takes a couple weeks you can pay for an express service which takes 72 hours i believe or less and yeah you should get your response within that time frame uh the next question is what vaccinations we have to get before going to Ghana um, I'm not 1000% sure but I do know there are like malaria tablets that you take prior to your um, trip to Ghana and also while you are like in Ghana um, in terms of vaccinations I'm not 100% sure like I used to get injections like when I used to visit Ghana before I actually moved there like when I was younger um, and like take tablets and stuff but I, I'm, I actually don't know how it works yet like I don't know like I'm not a doctor but you can literally go into like your local boots literally tell them I'm going to this country it's in Africa malaria duh, duh, duh. and then I think they look at like a they've got like a list of like countries and like the like appropriate tablets to take like because there's different types of malaria tablets and like depending on like the list that Ghana falls under they give you the other I don't know I, I'm not a pharmacist you know and I'm not even come here and act like you know I, I know what I'm talking about but um yeah there's definitely like tablets and things that you need to be taking 
before and during your um, holiday. So yeah, just do go to either your GP. That's what I used to do when I was younger. My mum used to take us to the GP, get our jabs, take our pills and yeah. Next question says, there's a lot of events on the same days. Will you be attending them all? Example, Afro Nation, Desi Rave, Afro Chella, The Garden Party, Polo Club, and on top of that, twists. Genuinely, I don't know. Like, I genuinely don't plan, like, what events, like, to go to, if that makes sense. Like, I've tried, to, don't get it twisted, like, I've tried in the past, like, with my friends, like, oh my God, we're gonna go to this, we're gonna this, go to that, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. Half the time, it flops. Like, everything just happens so spontaneously in Ghana that you just never know, do you know what I mean? Like, especially last December, like I didn't plan a lot of things. At certain events I wasn't supposed to go to, I ended up going to. Some events I was supposed to go to, I didn't end up going to, do you know what I mean? Um, like the garden party, for example, I was this close to not going this close, but it was one of the best events last December. I'm so happy that I went. Afro Cella, I was this close, this close to not going. It ended up going. It was a really, really good event. Like I li literally don't plan. Like, like I won't buy a ticket. I'll just be there, and I'll end up going like on the day. Do you know what I mean? So I can't even tell you like how I'm going to juggle all of these events like this December my god will make a way god will make a way what i'm really hoping for is for afro nation to release day tickets like literally i've been screaming this for the longest time afro nation release day tickets but i don't know if it's going to happen i feel like that will literally just solve like all my issues because there's so many things happening at the same time and afro nation is like a three four day event and it's like who's dedicating three four days to one event like we ain't gonna do that. <laughs> like, there's just so much happening. Like, nobody's gonna pay. Well, not nobody, because obviously people are actually doing it. But I can't bring myself to do it. Do you know what I mean? I can't. Even if I did buy tickets for Afro Nation, like, I'd have to skip some days. Like, money will be wasted. Do you know what I mean? So genuinely, I actually like don't know what's gonna happen. Like, I'm not really plan. Like, literally everything happens so spontaneously. I'm not gonna plan anything. Just, I'm literally just gonna just try and enjoy my december you know whatever happens happens like that's just how it goes baby um so my hair is more or less stuck down now oh it's looking crazy as hell but we are going to rectify that i'm just quickly going to comb it all out and just remove like any knots and like tangles and stuff like that back to what i was saying so yeah, that in terms of like events and stuff like that, I'm like I really don't know how I'm gonna balance it all. But the events, I can tell you like what events that I, like I really have my eye on. Um, Afro Cella, like that's definitely getting attended. Um, we have to support the people there. There's gonna be the Accra Street Food Market as well, which I am 100% attending. And that's basically what it says it is. It's a street food market, but it's not this time around. It's not just um, food. They're going to be showcasing lots of different brands from like swimwear brands to sunglasses, just a whole lineup of really, really interesting like upcoming brands, which is gonna be really good, especially like if you're into like entrepreneurship, like, come educate yourself see what you know our youth is producing it's not every day come and jam it's not every day you know clubs come and you know support the movement and you know see what our our generation is producing so yeah it's going to be a really really good event that's about it you know not gonna lie to you everything else is just if i go i go in it oh and twist twist i think that one is just needless to say do you understand like that one you don't have to announce that one like twist happens regardless um and that's because like twist finishes quite late so whatever time an event finishes there's always there's, there's always time to go to twist like you don't have to worry about that there's, there'll always be time to go to twist um but yeah before we move on this is how the hair looks brushed out like this is cute this is giving me like tina turner vibes you know with the big hair um but we are going to tame it okay so i've just got a bottle a spray bottle of water over here and i'm literally just going to put some conditioner in there and this is the Tresemme Moisture Rich Conditioner. So the hair is already really, really soft on its own, but this just adds that extra bit of softness. You can never have hair that's too soft. So yeah, this will just make it really nice and soft and obviously like define the curls, like the curl are about to pop. 
Um, but yeah, so while I do that, let me answer the next question. Okay, another question. Somebody says, how do I make sure I know about all the events in Ghana in December? Again, the calendar will be up here, like somewhere, you know. And I think just keep an eye out on like, social media every time you see an event mark it down like do you know what i mean like, if you really want to stay on top of all the events like the best way i would say it is as soon as you see something and like you hear like have about something like you know mark it down like you're gonna know like you are going to know like everyone's going to start making noise sooner or later about certain events if they haven't already when you're here just take a mental note do you know what i mean or some people actually go to the extent of like you know writing days and events down and like their notes and stuff like that if you're one of those people go ahead you will hear more hype surrounding the more like the bigger events if that makes sense like the afro cellas the afro nations the detty raids those are like the main like events and the rest like it's just up to you whether you want to go to them or you will eventually hear about them like along the line do you know what i mean so that's it for my snapchat questions i'm just gonna move on now to my instagram questions so someone said how long will you be spending in ghana i normally spend three to four weeks in ghana will you be attending afro nation ghana hmm now you see i like i was saying earlier like i really don't know about this whole four day three day four day business like that's that's a lot of days to dedicate to like one event do you know what i mean i don't know like i actually don't know like it just depends like I'm, the time might come and i might just i might just do you know what i mean like i've been screaming or like i want day tickets i'm not going unless they sell day tickets but the time may come and i may just go do you know what i mean like i can't give a certain answer right now the lineup looks sick i'm gonna lie to you but i just don't know like i actually genuinely just don't know if i'm going um next question clubs events i feel like i've addressed that like i've exhausted that topic so we're gonna move on to the next one jane my best friend says we in there like somewhere <laughs> we in there baby <laughs> we are in there baby um the next question says not a question i really like your videos they are so funny thank you so much for supporting my channel someone says places to go in the summer now i've been getting this question quite a lot actually like things to do outside of december like i've been like raving on about december for ages and people are like what else is there to do like during other times of the year but to answer your question watch my guide to Ghana enjoyment video I literally give you things to do all year round like everything that I mentioned in the video you can do December and you can do in March and in summer and you start and like literally do you know what I mean um so yeah if you haven't seen my guide to the official guide to Ghana enjoyment go and check that out because I've given you like more than enough like places to go, restaurants to visit, like historical places to visit, should I give you everything so make sure you check that one out. Someone says are you going Afrochella and Desi Rave or you're just going Afro Nation? <laughs> Damn everyone is confused in it. <laughs> like I just, I don't know, like I don't know, like I genuinely don't know. Like, I've, I think I've already mentioned that I'm definitely going to Afrochella. So if Afrochella happens to coincide with some of the Afro Nation dates, then I guess I won't be going to Afro Nation. Like I actually don't know when anything is happening. Like if I told you now that I know one single date for anything, then I'd be lying. But all I do know is that I want to go to Afrochella and Afro Nation is three days and it's annoying me. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. But just let me just take a moment quickly before i continue to look at the definition in these curls i absolutely love 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 the definition like this wig is coming with me to garner 1000 percent like look at that look at the definition let me come a bit closer so you guys can see look at the definition this is just giving me like trini trini vibes like i don't know why but trini vibes like with some cute earrings i'm gonna change my earrings guys after this i've started wearing some cute hoops yeah when i add the hoops to this like you're gonna blow your mind like your mind is going to be blown like i'm gonna look so cute but let's just finish like with the wig and then we'll get onto that but just look at that that is just 
that's beautiful like it's actually so pretty i love it this wig literally was like my holiday hair like for my birthday and i think it's gonna be my holiday hair for december as well i don't think it is gonna be Ooh, sis these cows <clears throat> so the next question it's actually an interesting one it's churches in ghana i've never actually received a question about you know religion or anything before like when it comes to ghana and like churches but um i can tell you what church i go to i go to mary mother of good counsel church in airport that's literally been the only church i've ever attended mary mother gang stand up stand up um yeah no but that's literally been the church i'm catholic by the way so it is a catholic church other really good churches that everyone knows about christ the king which is a catholic church i believe as well one of the most popular ones actually i think is actually probably action everyone goes action um on the 31st they do a really good like 31st night service like a crossover um service like into the new year so if you're looking for like a really good service for like crossing over action is really really good like people don't go church all year round but on the 31st they'll go action do you know what i mean like it's just that church so yeah someone says do you think accra is ready for the influx of people this december no we're not ready we don't have the infrastructure i'm doing it like, i don't know i genuinely don't know that's why i'm actually really hoping that the ghana high commission just rejects some applications like it's for our own good i'm actually not even being a hater like just for the own the sake of your own country they actually need to be seriously considering rejecting applications <laughs> it's the only way that i can you know see how maybe perhaps this whole december thing might work listen it's gone it's so bad to the point where i'm literally considering like going to ghana super early and just jam my own jamming to you get and then when like everybody else lands i'll be in my house i'll be in my house because i'm not now come to do sardine and twists sardine and bloom bar like bloom bar is hot yeah <laughs> like i don't know boy like i actually don't know no i'm joking i'm joking let me not even act like you know when the jamming starts i'm not gonna be in there like somewhere because i am but i'm just concerned like it's just gonna be so packed like but i don't know god will make her way in it god will make her way i don't even don't think ghana's ready for it a crowd not even ghana it's a crowd that's really going to suffer with this you know the inflow of people I don't think we're ready but what can we do it's happening like it's happening we have to embrace it and like stop complaining because it's happening <laughs> like the, the year of return is is here like and there's nothing we can do <laughs> there's nothing anybody can do do you know what i mean um so yeah we just gotta prepare as best as we can as a nation really and truly okay i'm just gonna quickly go ahead and add some finishing touches to the hair and i'll come back give you guys my final review wrap up the video and yeah so i'll see you in two secs and this is the final result guys i absolutely love 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 this wig like the texture on it is, uh, the curl pattern guys deep it. I love it, I absolutely love it. Like you guys, if you go on my Instagram, will see like I literally rinsed this hair out on my holiday, literally on my birthday. My holiday vlog will be coming out very, very soon, by the way guys, don't worry. But guys, island vibes. Like this is giving me bad girl Riri, Bayesian queen. Do you know what I mean? Like with the earrings, ooh girl like this is gonna really pop off in ghana like this and see how easy it was to just define the curl pattern <laughs> yeah this literally is going to be my go-to like for december unless i find like a wig better than this this is literally going to going straight to my suitcase after this video and will return in december like so if you see if you see this hair in december you know where i got it from unice hair is the plug literally um this is 
24 inches of a Brazilian curly. It came already made as a wig. I didn't have to construct it, nothing. Um, the, as you saw in the video, it was really, really easy to stick down. The lace is super, super like blendable. Like it blended in really, really nicely on my skin. I didn't have to bleach no knots. I didn't have to tone anything. Put a bit of water in it. It's so easy to maintain, literally, on holiday, I put this on and didn't take it off. I didn't take it off until I came back to this country, like, and I don't ever sleep in wigs, so that says a lot, like, I love this hair, literally. But yeah, as always, I will leave all the information down below in the description box. Make sure you check it out. Um, it, it's, it's worth the purchase, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's worth the purchase. But yeah, let me stop rambling now. Um, this is the end of my Q&A slash get ready with me video. I hope I've been able to sort of answer all the questions that I feel like I didn't address in my Ghana guide. Um, if you guys do have any more questions though after this video, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. Let's talk down below Ghana is coming up December is actually around the corner let's have a conversation let's talk about it and yeah I will be sure to see you guys in my next video which will be soon fingers crossed and hopefully it will be my birthday holiday vlog so keep an eye out for that um but until then take care and I love you guys